This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Slide the hood safety latch and raise the hood upwards. Support the hood with the prop rod. Loosen the air inlet tube hose clamp, then disconnect the inlet tube from the filter housing cover. Unlatch the filter cover retaining clips then remove the cover and pull the filter out of the housing. Loosen the cable nut from the battery negative terminal, then disconnect the negative battery cable. Secure the cable aside to prevent accidental reconnection. Disconnect the coolant reservoir hose from the thermostat housing cover. Remove the thermostat housing cover mounting bolts. Lift off the cover and position it aside. Be prepared for some coolant to spill as the gasket seal is broken. Remove the thermostat. Remove all traces of old gasket material and sealant from the housing and cover with a gasket scraper and a rag saturated with brake cleaner. Install a new rubber gasket on the thermostat, then install the thermostat into the housing cover spring end out. Make sure that you install the thermostat with the jiggle valve aligned with the locator notch in the housing cover. Install the thermostat housing cover and bolts. Tighten the bolts to the specified torque setting. Connect the coolant reservoir hose to the thermostat housing cover. Connect the negative cable to the negative terminal on the battery. Tighten the cable nut securely. Install the air filter into the housing. Install the filter housing cover. Secure the cover with the retaining clips. Connect the air inlet hose to the cover and tighten the hose clamp securely.